Okay, in this video, we're going to have a go at using Scratch to make a very simple animation sequence. And this is a project I was doing with year three this week. So I'm using the Scratch offline um, editor, partly because it guarantees it works regardless of our internet connection. I'm going to open it up. Um, and to begin with, I'm going to get rid of Scratch the cat because I want to get the children to make their own sprite. So I'm going to right click on uh, Scratch and I'm going to delete him. And then within the sprite section here, I'm going to create a new sprite. When this first opens up, it opens up at 100%, um, so you can either keep it at this or you can grow it to 200%. And I'm going to start by drawing myself a very simple sprite. So I'm going to draw myself a, a small crocodile here. Okay. It would probably look better if you coloured him in. But if I colour him in at the moment, you'll see there's a couple of issues. There's a few gaps um, in my shape. So I'm going to think where the only two I can see at the moment. So let's try and now use the bucket fill. And one of the things I like on the bucket fill is this uh, the shading. So I'm going to use the shading. I'm going to click on the crocodile, and we've now got this nice uh, shaded crocodile. If I click on the crocodile, I can move him around within the window. The problem at the moment is the crocodile is a little bit big. So at the bottom of the screen, I've not put my image in a very good place, there's this option here to convert to vector. So I'm going to click on convert to vector. And now when I click on the crocodile, I can click on the edges and I can shrink him down to a more appropriate size. And I can place him where I want. The big thing to remember is that everything that's on the sprite will move when we come later to program the sprite to any background and so on we don't want here. So the backgrounds we want here in the stage area. So we're going to go to the stage area. And again, I'm going to draw a background. I'm not going to draw a very complicated background this time. Uh, I'm just going to draw a nice simple one. So I'm going to use a block uh, and maybe a green block. Give it a bit of grass. Use my fill tool. And yeah, I guess we could use a faded one again to give me uh, a bit of a sky. And now I've got the crocodile standing on grass with a blue sky behind him. Next thing to do, so we've got a sprite, we've got a background. If we go into our script, we can now start to make this crocodile move. And to begin with, we need an event to happen. We need something that's going to define that the crocodile should be doing something. So we're going to click on event. And a nice easy one to begin with is the green um, Flag. So when the green flag is clicked, which is this one, what should the crocodile do? Well, in motion, what I normally tell the children to do is start by using the go to X. And the nice thing about the go to X is wherever you leave your crocodile, it will pick up the X and Y coordinate. So I'm going to put my crocodile here, it's where I want it to start, and I'm going to put that under and click in the uh, green flag. The advantage of this is if I move the crocodile somewhere else or lose him off screen, I press green, he goes back to the start, the good starting point. Now the next bit's up to the children really, but basically what I'm going to want the crocodile to do is to move and say something. So you can use um, the move option, um, which is within the motion. It says move 10 steps. So if I put move on and then press green, you can see it makes a small step that way. If I change move 10 to move minus 10, he will go the other way. I much prefer to use the change X and change Y. So if we use change X, I think it's a little bit more precise. So we press change X. Again, it goes backwards. So we're going to change this to uh, change X by minus 10. But it starts to get the children used to the idea that we've got a, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So I can have him move, but I could also have him move by Y as well. Um, so if I press on that, you can see it goes across, but he also goes up a little bit. Another nice function within this is if we now move our crocodile to where we want him to go to, instead of using these two blocks, we can actually use the glide to option. So we'll start from this position. For one second, he will glide to this position. We can press on the green block here. We can see it looks a little bit more realistic. It's not a big jump. After that, we can start to add some simple looks in. So he could be thinking something. 
or he could be saying something. So he goes across, hmm, he says. Um, and after that, we can also start to change the way he looks. But I'm going to pause this for now. <laughs> 